We're back on the Smells Like 90s Rock. Sheila, hot toddy. <laughs> Baby J. Um, you, you are you are the savior of Sheila. I try to be. When when all these people try to tell her about the fishing hole. Oh, if only it was the fishing hole. That would be a better conversation. Uh, what was that one time where I had to hear about a woman's... Sildenafil? Sildenafil. It's about sex. And she's like 84 years old. And Man, we already told everybody we them mm. them old folks homes. That's where that's where it be where happening get, right now. Done. Mm-hmm. That, they uh, you know like STDs just run rampant through mm-hmm. there. They do. They most certainly do. Well, I, I mean, I figure you live to be like seventy thousand years old. You deserve a little bit of romps. I guess. <laughs> yeah. If you're already if you're already like at the one yard line of life, it might as well just uh, enjoy it. You don't need your nose in Dallas, so syphilis won't bother you at that point. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Get you some siffy. <laughs> have you lived if you've gone through an old folks home and you don't have the siffy? I don't think so. That's like the last hurrah, Sheila. Yeah, that's what? that's how that's how you know you've lived your life. That's right. If you've not done that, then you've not lived. Because you're like, guess what? I got the siffy. No, <laughs> yep. Guess what? I got the siffy. Like, congratulations. And everybody gets excited, yes. And we're like, yay, we're proud of you. Proud of you. Mm-hmm. And then, like, their children come in and have to tell me about it. So lovely. Right. Are you on cocaine? No, or, but my nose um, is itching like Baby J keeps scratching her nose to the point where it's like, I, I, are, are, are you doing the blow? No. I think you're doing the blow. I am not doing the blow. My nose is just itching, and I've missed my allergy medicine for a The couple. blow costs too much money for Baby J yeah, to be doing the blow. Yeah, you know, blow. that's Thank true. You. The blow is a lot of money. Yeah, that, that's that's some rich people mm-hmm. drug. Would you stop with the more you know? <laughs> the more you know. Sheila, if I murder him, will you help me hide the body? Of course. Sweet. Uh-huh. I mean, she likes me better than me. I, I know. It's I'm, gonna be hard because he's their A star, and they're gonna come looking for him. But I don't. Mm. It's fine. We can just let AI take over his job. Apparently, I'm popular, and I don't. I didn't know I was. Like they really want to promote you, bro. I told you we're going for the motion. But it's so weird. I've worked in the workforce. You just have to use the pharmacy Google a little more. Twelve years, and. Nobody ever wanted to promote me. Now I just I just do a job. Now they want to promote me. It's literally like it's the Twilight Zone. I mean, this is what I'm in right now. Like today, it was cracking me up because sometimes if I get off early, yes, I can hear Hot Toddy's conversations, uh, even though I'm not supposed to. But our walls are so thin, you can hear everything. And um, this is how I know he doesn't like people, but still can fake that he likes people because <laughs> he's reading off a list of like 12, 13 medications and spelling every one to the oh, customer. God. And um, he's just like, mm hmm, that's what that's for. I started banging <laughs> you hear on. him banging on the counter. I hit bang on, on the his desk. Table. Yes. Um, There's actually, I've voice. actually designated a little spot for my fist to hit the table. Um, when a when I have, spot? When yeah. I have to bang his it. His yeah. voice doesn't change though. Ah, yes, that is for your cholesterol. That is spelled A T O R. Bang, bang, bang. V A S. Like, like, still chill as all get out. Mm-hmm. Like, you would never know oh, I he can, is I can, pissed as F. I could like, can punch a window in the middle of one of these conversations and not move a muscle. Like, my I think face you've even pretty. gotten pretty good at the people who call you stupid, even staying nice to them. Oh, I just be, become passive aggressive to them. You're just like, mm-hmm, and as I was saying, mm-hmm. or let me finish. Uh, if you yeah. would let me finish what I was saying. Finish. Uh, I know you don't think I know what I'm talking about. That was my favorite. However, because <laughs> oh god, I said that to I, one person. I was a boomer. It's a. It was. A, it was I a, laughed my butt off when he said that one because I heard that and I. I could. These stop people. Laughing. Born between 1945 and 1965. I didn't know how bad it was until I got into this job. Now I see how bad it was, how bad it is. Uh, but yeah, like talking to me, I, and I was explaining to him. I don't even remember what it was now, but explaining to him, you're going to get your prescription. And he was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, 
Bia! You're going to get your stuff, man. It was all about a PA, and Todd had already processed it, and the PA was approved. No, the, yeah, the, the PA like, was done. It was a it done was deal. Done. He was gonna. He could go get his. It has been <laughs> We've been successful here. Yes, you can go it do it right now. It has been successful. You literally can go pick it up at any time. And I said it's good until the end of the year. And the question was, will I have to get another PA the next time I get it, my next refill? I said, no, it's good until the end of the year. And he's like, no, no, you don't understand what I'm saying, because <laughs> that's that's the go-to boomer move there. And I'm like, I just flat out said, I know you don't think I know what I'm talking about. I know you think I'm dumb, but I'm looking at the screen. I can, your I can read. Your actual words, because I remember this, because you cracked yeah. me up. So, I know you don't think I'm very intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> However. Because I know. I mean, they don't think what we're was, intelligent. I lost it. I, I lost my crap. I probably almost peed my pants laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> because you were so calm when you said it. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, it was just, I know you think I do not know what I'm talking about. I know you think How I'm stupid. However. Here's the thing. I promise you. I promise you, this is the case. You'll be okay. This prescription, <clears throat> it's good to go. Go get it and leave me alone. <laughs> I notice if we talk pharmacy on this show, you snap right into it. Because it's my world. If we talk about anything else, you, you're usually asleep by this point in the show. It's my world. Yeah. It just it just aggravates me. You just come to life. When they tell people that they're not going to die from being heavy. No, like you're saying, there's mm -hmm. heart failure. There's what will turn into diabetes. There's liver failure. There's a whole bunch of things that come with being overweight. Does it always come with that? No. There are some healthy overweight people. But you can't say that that's everybody. That's the abominations, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I like, got everything else. Like, when I was overweight, I wasn't technically a necessarily an unhealthy person because, no, I didn't have heart issues. No, I didn't have diabetes. However, I had terrible, like, joint issues and body issues. And um, my sleep was always off because my cortisol levels were crazy. What are you playing? You just, you deserve some inspirational music behind you as you're speaking. So go ahead. I am going to throat punch you. <laughs> just go ahead. <laughs> we're here for you. Keep listening. Okay, I'll keep talking. It just aggravates me because like, you don't know what someone's going through. So I need you to step back before you decide what they should be able to get and what they should not be able to get. So I'm saying. 